morning girls as you all know today we are to start with our academic session it is the sem 5 that we are going to start today as you all know there are different subjects that we are going to deal in this particular sem as of now the subject that i am going to deal with you is productions and operations management it's a compulsory subject and it's a part of your dba sem 5 here is a quick view of the syllabus content it includes as many as 5 units uh they are different in nature but interrelated like it starts with introduction to production and operations management it is process selection aggregate planning and maintenance management facility location and facility layout the order that is mentioned here on the slide i'll be changing as we go with the process of the subject because i feel that the order can be reshuffled to make the subject clear to you and so that we will do it in the for the part of the lectures as now we are to start with the as of now we are going to start with the first part of the unit and that is introduction to productions and operations management students you know better being the students of management you know it very well that the management that you have studied earlier uh, in the earlier sem rather that means uh, you have studied this subject Uh, as an introductory part in fundamentals of management, and there you have studied that there are various functions or maybe various areas of management. That means the principles of management can be applied to the various areas, and that is what is said to be the functions of management. Here, to start with, this particular subject deals with this area, this particular area that is production management, or we call it manufacturing. what is this production or manufacturing from the beginning that means from the very beginning of the civilization we depend on something or the other that means everything cannot be manufactured or cannot be produced by us and for one or the other requirements we depend on others and others are all those people or can be considered as the producers or maybe the manufacturers what they do they take up the raw materials they process it and they bring the goods or maybe the uh, product in such a form that they can that can be used uh, further by the customers or maybe by the common people and this is in the layman's language the common process that is said to be the production here in this particular unit we will be studying different aspects of the productions and operations management that means we will study production as a different part and then the production management as different part it will be the operations management how it is different how the terminology changes etc and its various aspects so in detail we will be studying everything in this particular lecture i am going to take up few of the topics very primary very basic topics and then we move on further with the different part as far as the first unit is concerned it consists of different topics like say introduction to production management it's the basic difference between the goods and services what is operations management what is productions and operations management together what are the manufacturing and service operations etc and the same things we'll be studying in quite a to begin with as you can see it on your screen there is a simple chart that is uh, being shown there that means production can be considered as the most important in any industrial organization and i'm sure all of you would agree with me that in an organization especially in a manufacturing organization if there is no production there is no other related activities required that means if you are not producing anything there is no tangible goods or intangible services that you are bringing up for the customers there is no marketing required there is no finance generated and there is no hr required that means for any unit the manufacturing plays a very important role and it's almost the core of the whole business but when we talk about a term production the production and manufacturing may be used simultaneously or maybe they are the synonyms of each other but here 
in this uh, further part of the chapter we are going to get very clear that what is production management what is operations when the production term can be used when the operations term can be used etc and being the specialized students of uh, business management you need to know or you need to demark this variation let us begin here uh, for any unit as i said earlier also uh, production is very important activity now if Uh, we want to describe production in a very simple term. What is production? If I ask you such a simple question, the answer would be that whatever we want to produce, for that we need a set of inputs, uh, say the materials. What do we do? Then we put it into some kind of process. Now, what is this process? Process means the raw material passes from stage one to stage two to stage three, and likewise, till the product is getting. the finished form that means the output is ready it may be in the form of goods or it may be in the form of services right i repeat what is production in a layman's language production means converting the raw materials through some kind of specific process into some kind of goods or some kind of output that may be connected with some kind of services at times this is what is known as the production process now some organizations may be purely manufacturing or some may be purely uh, services in uh, the nature when we talk about purely manufacturing we completely mean here that the output that is being produced is a tangible product tangible product એટલે જે વસ્તુ આપણે જોઈ શકીએ અડી શકીએ right those products are said to be the tangible products and when these products are produced it is said to be raw materials converting uh, to finished goods through some kind of process and the product that comes up is purely tangible say for example mobile phone mobile instrument is said to be the tangible product why so because we can touch it we can use it we can exchange it and that is why this product is said to be purely the goods or maybe the product in that case we take up the another example then what we call it as purely services what are services then we never use first of all we need to clear this out that we never use the term like operations with services uh, or sorry we never use the production with the services what do we use the term it is generating the services maybe operating the services it's never producing the services so here the basic difference comes up okay production hamesha tangible products sathe vaprati term che whereas operations we generally use for intangible services intangible એટલે જે વસ્તુ આપણે અથવા જે સર્વિસીસ જે સેવાઓ છે આપણે જોઈ નથી શકતા અડી નથી શકતા બટ એટ ધ સેમ ટાઈમ વી કેન યુઝ ઇટ વી કેન પરચેસ ઇટ એન્ડ વી કેન ગીવ ધ ફીડબેક ફોર ધ સેમ એન્ડ ઇટ ઇઝ બીંગ સોલ્ડ એઝ ગુડ એઝ ધ પ્રોડક્ટ ઇન ધ માર્કેટ્સ વી ઓલ નો ઇટ નાઉ વન મસ્ટ હેવ ઓબ્ઝર્વ ધીસ that in both the types of uh, the categories that means whether it is a manufacturing unit or whether they are said to be the service providers there is always the output there is there that means output in the sense of product product means the tangible product have product sathe amuk services pan jodayeli hoy ane services sathe product pan jodayeli hoy what i am trying to conclude here is that no product or no services can be pure in nature that means we can not demark we can not bifurcate that this is purely a product and no services are related and this is purely a service and there is no product related i'll explain you with a simple example here how that is possible supposingly a company is manufacturing automobile spare part all right or maybe it is manufacturing uh, the car when we talk about car or a four wheeler it, uh, the a manufacturer is producing a car which is demanded by the customers now this car is considered to be the tangible product but what are the factors of intangibility in this what are the services that are concerned with it then that can be maybe the sales services the repair services or maybe for buying the automobile we may need the consultancy services also then at this particular point of time we can say that the product is car but there are intangible things also related to it which we can come to know or which we can name it as services that means it is product plus services as i have mentioned in the chart also it is goods plus services whether it may be 
purely manufacturing always there is a factor of services related it may be same with the other type of institutions for example if we talk about schools we talk about educational institutions we talk about banks or hospitals now what are they they are purely service renderers or they are providing services in nature now if you go to the hospitals obviously we are getting the services of the doctors or the nurses or maybe the staffs there but these are the services which are intangible but there is the tangible factor connected to it suppose we get the prescriptions there we get the reports there we get to use the hospital facilities there which are very tangible in nature we may be using the icus we may be using the ventilators we may be using the operation theaters uh, for getting those services means the the nature of the product here is services but there is the tangible product attached to it and that is why it is said that no pure product can be considered as the uh, product without the services or there cannot be services without the product if you go to the hospitals i repeat if you go to the banks if you are uh, going for just opening an account yes you are getting the services but in return you get the check book you get the pass book and they are the evidence they are the kind of the tangible things that uh, makes us realize that yes the, we are holding an account in this particular bank what i am trying to deduce here is that there is um there there in the in today's scenario you cannot just purely bifurcate that this is product purely as an output this is services purely as an output as an output we may get goods plus services or it may be the other way around it may be services plus goods right so the difference is that that service industry we purchase a process and not the product whereas in for the product industry or maybe for manufacturing industry we bring the product for us now what we will be trying to do is we'll be trying to clear it out with the help of few more things or few more slides here so that the concept of production becomes clear to us see the slide here it's a very interesting slide that has been placed here if you uh, just check out the products they are very colorful and it really attracts and maybe uh, we feel hungry also they are all the very uh, important and famous brands here that we may be using in day to day life but my uh, focus is on products that as you can see it has been emphasized let me just read it out for you the combination of the goods and services are known as product it is offered by the producer to the market to satisfy the needs and the wants of the customer that means what is a product as i said in the earlier section also that product may be it is a combination of goods plus services we are holding the goods at the same time the services attached to it are also offered by the manufacturer to us according to the needs and wants of the customer we purchase the product along with the services now the product can be tangible that means physical or it may be intangible that means non physical or even it can be the digital in nature as we are doing it right now every product has various characteristics like it may be different in color quality size shape types ingredients weight etc and there are mainly four stages of product life cycle i think you have studied somewhere in um, the fourth cell that is very well known as plc that means it is introduction that means it is the product life cycle we uh, we popularly known as product life cycle and it passes through different four stages introduction growth maturity and decline during this whole cycle when you try to manage the product it is said to be the product management and the process of ma ma managing this various activities of production such as planning operations controlling is purely known as production management in this slide what we have tried to do is we have tried to join the product as a physical product or it may be intangible non physical in nature but it passes through a kind of life cycle and when it passes through a life cycle we need to understand that at every stage there may be a different type of planning that may be required different type of controlling that may be required and accordingly the management of these particular things at the different stages are required now what is if we join the term management here management means it includes the process of post call 
प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग स्टाफिंग डिरेक्टिंग एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा और आ जय फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ने अपने कोई पर्टिक्युलर एरिया में देट मीन्स मैनेजमेंट प्रिंसिपल्स ने अपने कोई पर्टिक्युलर एरिया में एम्प्लॉय करे अथवा वपरी देट एरिया बिकम्स द प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट ना टू बिगीन विथ वी आर जॉइनिंग और वी आर ट्राइंग टू लर्न प्रोडक्शन एज अ डिफरेंट थिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट एज अ डिफरेंट थिंग when we talk about the meaning of production the very well and a very clear thing has been given that is inputs conversion outputs now what is the what are what can be the inputs inputs can be raw materials it may be machines it may be labor etc conversion process means converting or maybe the transformation of these raw materials into particular type of outputs now what is this conversion process it may be manual it may be mechanical it may be chemical in nature but the output that comes up is said to be the finished goods it may be finished goods and it may be the attached services i need to focus here on the inverted commas the dug dug things are very important here so we try to just finish it off with uh, this thing that the processes and the methods used to transform tangible that means raw materials semi finished goods sub assemblies and intangible inputs in intangible inputs can also be intangible intangible inputs at apne vichar aave ke shu ho okay that means it may be ideas it may be information it may be uh, knowledge bank that we may be using to convert some particular thing or some particular raw thing into some kind of services which may be general use for services now as i told in the beginning also that it is very important activity of the business it is uh, the conversation or maybe the conversion of process or it may call it transformation into a kind of output that has got a value creation in it that means some values are added to it and then it becomes very important for some person or maybe the customers for their own needs and requirements now here again with a nice diagram the process of production has been explained what are the factors of production you have studied some very in economics also that there are basically four main factors of production it may be land labor capital or enterprise in the management language we can call it man machines uh, materials right money and those considered those are considered to be the main inputs what do we do out of uh these inputs we are trying to get the outputs but it is not a magical thing that happens that with a magic wand we try to just bring the inputs we try to just bring the wand there and it turns up into the outputs no it passes through different kind of processes and in a conversion ke by or to transformation ke by a transform thai ne shu bane chhe to ke it may be the production of goods or services che ne generally self purpose mate vaprai chhe and that is why i told you ke jo koi pan manufacturing unit hoy any andar if manufacturing is not there the rest of the activities are never required here the output may be in this example it is cars tv of uh, computers foods and drinks or houses or it may be even different types of services like banks it may be uh, like uh, hospitals it may be hotels they all are considered to be purely service sector now we try to just sum up whatever we have learned related to uh, the production here the the definition has been provided it has been given by es bupa and it says that production is a process by which goods and services are created it's very simple production shu che to ki ek prakriya che ek process che jena dwara apne shu kariye che to ke jena dwara apne goods and services create kariye che banaviye che it means production is a process of converting raw materials from one form to the another form in such a way that it creates its worth or value now here i put a very simple example that wood may be used for so many purpose right we all know this but can the raw wood be directly used then the answer would be no that means the wood from the forest may not be directly used except for the fuel or maybe for some kind of burning purpose but to use it further that means for various purpose if we want to use it it has to be modified in some kind of form for example it may it has to be modified to some kind of furniture some kind of desk benches or maybe the dining tables or maybe kind of unit jenu kaam shu che to ke e ek different form ma aave che and that form is consumed or maybe bought by the customers 
thus it cannot be uh, said or it cannot be used directly from raw form as we want to have it uh, uh, in the finished goods if we want to have it in the finished good that means it has to pass from some kind of process and it, the process that is being uh, there that we consider it as the production then what can be considered as production management now that we know that what is production it is now you should be very clear raw materials process output or we broadly call it input process output right and here the term production is very clear up till now what we are trying to do next is we are going to learn the production management now if you see i have drawn some kind of chart for you as i told you see the first part suggests you that there is production there what can we see there inputs process output now what can be these inputs they are generally four ends again these four ends are very popular and you have learned it earlier also a uh, inputs set of inputs ni andar shu aave okay men machines money materials a bodu shu che inputs che a bodu raw che which we are trying to use it we are trying to bring it to some other form so that we can have the output e je bring out karvano je convert karvano je change karvano je area che ene apne process kahiye che ane e change thai ne shu thai che Okay, it comes out in the form of output. What are these output? Outputs can be in the form of goods for sales. Right? Generally, that we get it in the market. We buy it according to our requirements. It has its own price, and we can exchange it in the uh, form of price. That means we pay the price, and we get the physical uh, product with us, and that is what we consider as output. But all the outputs are not goods for sales uh, to the consumer. some output are such j raw materials banthu hai bg industry mate raw materials banthu hai suppose sub assemblies che koi auto parts banavti koi company che to e je parts banave che directly we may not be using it but who are their uh, customers they are maybe the other industries e loko shu kare che a product ni okay they may be using as the raw materials for manufacturing some kind of machines maybe some kind of vehicles etc and here the uh operations have also been given here but i am not going to go for the operations right now what we will be focusing is purely on production and production management today when we learn further i'll take up with this chart now let us just sum it up every organization has management principles we all know this and the application of those principles to production function basically is known as production management. आप सिंपल भाषा में समझ लो तो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक दिस दैट व्हाट इज प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स प्रोडक्शन रॉ मटेरियल प्रोसेस आउटपुट और इनपुट प्रोसेस आउटपुट देन व्हाट इज मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट मींस देयर आर सर्टेन बेसिक फंक्शंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट लाइक प्लानिंग स्केड्यूलिंग सुपरवाइजिंग कंट्रोलिंग व्हेन वी ऐड दिस एक्टिविटीज इन अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया ऑफ प्रोडक्शन तेरे द टर्म बिकम्स प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट right this management concept involves what planning as i said scheduling supervising controlling organizing of all the activities that concern to the production of goods to meet the needs of the consumers and also generate profit of the firm or profit for the business very very important why are we learning production management here because production management is is such a kind of area ke ek core che koi pan business no ek core che means it is the heart it is very very important very crucial part of the whole business because if there is production the rest of the things as i said earlier also can be managed or that those things can be planned out here when we are when we are focusing on production management as a term production means changing the raw materials into the finished goods and when we attach management as a word there that means what do we do during this process we try to manage everything when we talk manage means we are planning we are scheduling we are supervising we are controlling and blah 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 all the activities we take up related to management to this particular area of manufacturing thus production management involves using all the kinds of resources very judiciously to create a product that is acceptable by the consumers in this case raw materials are being transformed into some kind of product adding value at each stage the production manager is also in charge of these area of business in other words 
decisions such as quantity, quality, price, design, packaging, material for the products and so many other things can be the part of the duties of the production manager and he also ensures that output matches the specification, it matches the demand of the customers that means this is very crucial area if you can produce something related to the demand of the customers or maybe related to the specification of the customers only then your product would be sold out toch a product mechan thai and a product mechan thai toch money or profit finance generate thai chai so it is very crucial part of the whole unit here the production management has been again explained with a very nice slide here i'll just uh, brief it if you can see the chart on the right side, you can see there is a set of inputs, there is transformation process and there is the output. When you talk about the top, it is production management that has been given, the inputs may be capital, entrepreneurship, land, labor, right? And when it is turning up into output, it can be in the form of goods and services. When you try to manage this whole thing, when you try to control and you plan and whatever is required or whatever the stages of cost for may be, when you try to employ here basically in this particular area of transformation process, it is known as production management. Here, few definitions of production management has been given. The very famous definition of AW field, very simple to understand. I'll be uh, just uh, uh, saying it for you. Production management is the process of planning and regulating the operations of that part of an enterprise which is responsible for actual transformation of the materials into finished goods. Then I just try to bring it is simple here. Production management should check the okay, process check. Kevo process of planning and regulating. That means planning and controlling. Should control karwanu chai. So ke a area ne control karwanu chai. Je actually transform kare chai. Raw materials ne finished goods ma. Ane a je area chai. That is process. The production no chai process chai. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Ene aapne barak bar plan kariye. Ene aapne schedule kariye. Ene cost vadhaare na chai. Taati raw materials qualitative aapne chai. Kani bagere bagere so many things can be included. All those things when we try to see it. When we try to plan it. When we try to control it. A area ne basically production management ke baat. Right? The very famous ES book or see whenever you study production management this definition is sure to come. Right? And that is production management deals with decision making related to the production process so that the resulting goods or services is produced according to specifications in the amounts and by the schedule demanded and at a minimum cost. If you see three things are very important. What is it? Production management is a decision making process. It is a kind of taking various types of decision related to what? What type of product, specified product you want to produce, in what amount you want to produce, in what time period you want to produce, with how much cost you want to produce. When you take care of all these areas, it is considered to be production management. Thus, production management is a part of business management. Now, By now, we all know this and it is called the production function. Production management is slowly being replaced by the operations management and the, that, that area we will talk in the next lecture. That, uh, now, uh, if you are uh, used to with the buzzing words, hardly production management is, as a term is being used. It has been replaced by operations management. Why? Because operation is a term that consists of or that is related to intangible services and these services are such in which there is tangible factor lying and that is why production management is very often now being replaced with the operation management as a term. These we will study in the further part. So by now what we have studied is production management also deals with decision making regarding the quality, quantity, cost etc. of the production. And very important is the last line. It applies management principles to the production area. That means management ka jepan sitan to che. Ene tame production ma utpadan ma chare tame vapro cho. Ane ena dvara the best specific specified product in the best amount in the scheduled timing and with the minimum cost when you try to bring it these area of concern is known as production management here the different objectives have been mentioned it can be uh, divided into two parts basically ultimate objective and intermediate objectives i have made a chart 
here the things uh, comes up clearly that what are the objectives of production management now by now we all should be clear the objectives of production management why do we take up production management what are the basic aims then to get the quality product to get the right quantity of the product to get the things at the right time and to get it at the right manufacturing cost for these particular purposes we take up with the product management here the importance the next topic is all about the importance which tells us that why it is important apne shuka va vastu ni bhaniya che so the importance of production management can be viewed from two different angles one is from the angle of firm and the other one is from the angle of the customers right and uh, that is why the two things we are going to study when we talk about the production management from the view point of firm so the first one comes up is firm's objective what is firm's objective to satisfy customer needs and to earn profit to bring up the sales to do this they have to take up with production management only if they take up with production management the objectives can be earned next the good reputation the goodwill and the image of the company can only be built up if they have a proper production management going on in their company or maybe in their firm otherwise if they fail to take up with the proper quality proper quantity proper timings of the goods then they lose the goodwill they lose the reputation and ultimately the firm will not be able to survive the next comes of this it helps to introduce new products uh, because production management has wide scope we will study in the further part it has a wide wide scope that means everything related from existing product to new product with the help of research and development everything comes up uh, within the periphery of this production management and it is very important only if you have production management to tumne khabar pade ki aa existing product che e atli atli needs fulfill kare che ane there is something missing that means with the help of research and development research you come to know that these these things are uh, missing in the existing product with the new product or maybe the modified product what you are, what are we trying to do we are trying to get a better product aa kyare khabar pade jare production management ek unit ma kaam karto ho tyare again it supports the other functional areas also as i told in the beginning ke production che to marketing to finance to personal to hr ni jarur che otherwise they have nothing to do because the production is the core of any manufacturing there are more uh, importances also like it helps to face the competition definitely jo tumara production management ko vigilantly bo carefully kaam karto ho te badha j aspects ne cover karvano che and it can become a core competency it can fight the competition very well with the strong production management again whatever the resources you have it can utilize it properly at the minimum production cost and like that it can expand the firm also you can have more profit you can have the growth you can have the prosperity of the firm with managing the production management so here what we have checked out are eight different importance of the production management next we are going to talk next angle which is known as from the customers or society's point of view now what is the benefit it's not the benefit only for the firm but we can say that it has the benefit from the next point of view also that means the persons who are going to use the product from their point of view also it is very important like if we are if a firm is having a good production management then the benefit is uh, very actually and very normally shifted to customers how they can have high standard of living by using a good product or maybe the qualitative product it generates the employment on the side of the economy that means on the side of society if you have uh, more uh, uh, vigilant or maybe more careful production management it actually knows that what type of people it needs what type of worker and technicians it needs so it creates more and more employment opportunities also it also improves it helps to improve the uh, quality of the product uh, maybe more qualitative product can be brought into the market at the reduced cost again there can be a spread effect that means if the single production unit may be working or the production area may be working very well the other service sectors like banking transport communication insurance etc can also be boosted up that means it's not only the production connected to tangible goods but also intangible services can be booster again it creates the utility definitely production no ka much creating utility che that means ema usefulness bharvano che ema evi eda features bharvano che jena pati customers get the satisfaction it may be in the form of different size shapes designs etc and likewise it helps to boost the economy 
also so it is a induction management is such a kind of term or is such a kind of function that is definitely employed in a production unit manufacturing unit mate vaprai che pan ena fayda o ini je importance che e banne sector ne mare che that means the manufacturing unit also gets uh, its own uh, set of benefits on the other hand customer and society also gets in some kind of the uh, one or the other ways that we have mentioned here the different functions of management has been mentioned so if you check out so many different types of functions it takes up chara production management ki baat kari hai from bringing bringing the raw materials to fetching it for the uh, sales but tij vastu it is under the control of production management to begin with it is selection of the product what kind of product you want to produce what kind of design and shape and size you want to produce it is the function of production management then the related function is if you want to produce a product then you need to select its product also it need you need to select its process also kya form thi kya process thi kai method thi tumhe ne baga banavana that is said to be the selection of production process next area that comes up it is selecting the uh, right kind of production capacity that means selection of the right production capacity production capacity means ketli kshamta tumhe vaparana to see if one machine may be used for uh, say 8 hours and may be producing 100 units if you are going to make it use make the use for 4 hours then definitely the production will be of only 50 units that means je production capacity je kshamta no upyog karva mangi rahe je install karelu che je ena par apne investment karelu che eni same etlu vartar de che ke ne e jovanu ka kaam pan production management nu che so that becomes very crucial function of production management the fourth one comes up is production planning that means how you want to plan out it includes everything the process of production from getting the raw materials how are you going to store it how are you going to use it what type of wit that means work in progress will be there and likewise the whole planning is being done next once the planning is there definitely there is a factor of production control what is this production control production control means કે આટલું પ્રોડ્યુસ કરવાનું તો એનાથી વધારે થઈ ગયું તો કંટ્રોલ કરો એ નહીં બટ વોટ એવર ધ સ્પેસિફિકેશન્સ દેટ મીન્સ પ્રી ડિફાઇન્ડ જે પણ સ્ટાન્ડર્ડ્સ હતા એ પ્રમાણે આપણે પ્રોડ્યુસ કરી શક્યા છે કે નહીં એ જે કમ્પેરિઝન છે દેટ ઇઝ સેટ ટુ બી પ્રોડક્શન કંટ્રોલ અગેન ધેટ્સ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ ફંક્શન ઓર એક્ટિવિટી ઓફ ધી પ્રોડક્શન મેનેજમેન્ટ નેક્સ્ટ કમ્સ અપ ધ વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ એરિયા કોસ્ટ કંટ્રોલ સી એવરી યુનિટ વોન્ટ્સ ટુ પ્રોડ્યુસ ધ ગુડ્સ high quality but when it comes to cost everyone wants to have the cost cutting there but where the quality and cost can be balanced that's also the area of work for production management the next seventh one is inventory control inventory means everything that is being used it may be from raw materials to the finished goods finished goods in the market everything can be con- considered as inventory ni apne inventory ni baat kare to whatever things that we use for the production for process in a control for me manage kar bhi in a overstock the jaye na understock the jaye e jo ano kaam chhe that is said to be one of the crucial areas of production management and the next and the last one in the series is maintenance replacement of machines means the production management is also responsible said that to check that whether whatever the machines that we are using are they giving the best results or not where they are required to be maintained where the replacements or may be there is the wear and tear of the machines that is to be taken up everything is taken care under this particular area and that is why the functions of production management starts with the selection of product and it ends at maintenance they are the broad kind of functions the intermediate functions may be many and will be uh, seeing it further when we see it with the different aspects of the syllabus we may be checking the different functions of the production management for now what is the production management or what is the functions of production management selecting the product for design then selecting the process selecting the production capacity making the planning or doing the planning taking up with the production control checking up with the quality and cost control managing the inventory right maintaining and replacing the machines wherever required ab two activities kon perform kare che to ke ek particular area of the whole unit which is responsible for producing something and that area or that particular section is known as production management department and je kaam kare che that is what we have listed out in the different eight points now to sum up with this session today i have tried to bring out basic idea 
प्रोडक्शन ना अंत हो तमने ये खबर हों जो व्हाट इस प्रोडक्शन देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट प्रोडक्शन प्रोडक्शन मींस चेंजिंग रॉ मटेरियल्स थ्रू सम काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेस टू सम काइंड ऑफ फिनिश्ड गुड्स देन व्हाट इस प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट मींस वी आर जॉइनिंग टू टर्म्स प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन मींस चेंजिंग रॉ मटेरियल्स टू द फिनिश्ड गुड्स एंड देन व्हाट डू वी डू देन व्हाट व्हाटएवर things it takes that means management karvu pade aa badi vastu em nem na thai jaye magical nahi ene manage karvi pade when we use the term management that means post cop ni aakhi series che planning organizing staffing directing related to the production area when we do it it has a wide scope as we have seen in the previous slides right it has its own set of objectives so that the goods that are produced are of the specified uh, quality they are at the affordable prices they are according to the needs of the customers and then they are being sold out and if these things are being sold out that means it will earn it will generate the best money the best income for the organization and it will be able to take up care of the further expansion that means atlo basic idea pan clear hovo jo hai production shu che production management shu che right ane apne kyare production term vapariye che i repeat production term apne tangible goods hoy generally tyare vapariye che production ane manufacturing interchangeably vapraye shake che and the buzzing word that comes up is operations management operations management e hove lagbhag production management no नाम ले लीजिए चाहे डेट मींस नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट मेनी ऑफ द फॉर्म्स आर आल्सो यूजिंग ऑपरेशंस पर ऑपरेशंस जनरली ये वो शब्द हो सके जो इंटेंजिबिलिटी साथ में बताएं चाहे बट इन द फर्दर पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर वी विल सी इट इन मोर डिटेल नाउ इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द बेसिक � Now, as far as the comparison is concerned, the chart says it all. Say, suppose many. Then, what are the goods? Goods are the material items that can be seen, touched, or felt, and are ready for the sale to the customer. Your services should share. So, the services may be amenities. That means facilities share, benefits share, or help provided by the other people. nature shu che okay this tangible goods are tangible as i said we can touch we can see it we can feel it and services are intangible that means non physical in nature we cannot see it we cannot touch it though we can use it now as far as transfer of ownership is concerned yes the goods can be transferred if you are buying a mobile if you want to get the mobile set or maybe mobile instrument you pay money on one side on the other hand you get the Uh, ownership transfer to you that means the shopkeeper will give you the mobile and that means it is transfer of ownership here services cannot be transferred generally right ownership of the services cannot be transferred once if we talk about the evaluation simple and easy che tame goods ne gani shako cho tame ene joi shako cho so evaluation becomes easy whereas services current ke dekhati nahi enu feedback che ena adhare ene evaluation becomes little bit complicated return of the goods yes it is possible services cannot be returned suppose if you are going to the hotel for a kind of say lunch or dinner you take the lunch you enjoy the ambiance you enjoy the music you come back home and then the next day if the owner of the host, uh, hotel asks you to uh, return back the services is it possible no it cannot be done that means services cannot be returned separable Uh, yes, goods are separated from their seller. Goods no producer koi hoy shake, and no seller koi biju hoy shake is very much possible. Jare services che inseparable in nature che. That means services cannot be separated from service provider. If you go to the doctor for a kind of treatment, then doctor himself can provide you the treatment. Doctor ane treatment na kamae separate kari shako nahi. Again, the next point of difference is variability. Inya the goods can be identical. जैसे सर्विसेस डाइवर्सिफाइड हो सके एक धारा मास प्रोडक्शन में गुड्स प्रोड्यूस थी सके एक धारी नटराज की पेन्सिल्स प्रोड्यूस थी सके हुए एस एस पेन्स प्रोड्यूस थी सके हुए मारुति कार्स प्रोड्यूस थी सके हुए आज एक बीजा थी एकदम आइडेंटिकल हो एक जे, एक बीजा जेवीज हो राइट वेर एस सर्विसेस केन बी वेरी मच डाइवर्सिफाइड हार्डली सर्विसेस आर आइडेंटिकल डाइवर्सिफाइड एट एक कस्टमर है एने एक सर्विस की जरूर है बीजा कस्टमर ने बीजा सर्विस की जरूर है तो सर्विस में नेचर ज डाइवर्सिफाइड है इट केन नॉट बी आइडेंटिकल इट केन नॉट बी द सेम एज फार एज द स्टोरेज इज कंसर्न 
the goods can be stored for the future or multiple use services cannot be stored tyare apne eu nahi samjhe ke apne koi ek show ni ticket leta hoy aaj apne jai nahi sakta ane kale apne ej ej show jova jau che to we cannot use the same tickets for the services tomorrow or maybe the show tomorrow that means it cannot be stored services as they are produced they are consumed ene tame store kari sakta nahi production and consumption there is a time lag between production and consumption of goods uh the goods can be produced say months before and they may be consumed months after whereas as i told you just now that services as they are produced they are being consumed that means simultaneous process and likewise we have tried to check it here in this first part of the session that what is production i repeat i am summing up what is production and changing of raw materials into finished goods production management means we are attaching the term management management means planning organizing staffing directing but such functions ne apne particular area that means production utpadan kshetra ma jare e badha ch principles ne employ kariye che vapariye che apply kariye che to e production management thai jaye ane production management e generally term che which is which was in fact initially used now it has been replaced even by operations management ત્યારે શું વાપરીએ છે અને એ બેઝિક ક્યાં વપરાય છે ધેટ ઇઝ વાય વી હેવ ટ્રાઈ ટુ બાય ફકેટ હિયર વિથ ધ બેઝિસ ઓફ કમ્પેરિઝન બિટવીન ધ ગુડ્સ એન્ડ સર્વિસીસ સો હિયર વી એન્ડ અપ વિથ ધીસ ફર્સ્ટ પાર્ટ વેન વી મીટ નેક્સ્ટ યુ વી ટેકિંગ અપ વિથ ધ નેક્સ્ટ પાર્ટ ઓફ ધ ઓર નેક્સ્ટ પોર્શન્સ ઓફ ધ યુનિટ બાય ધેટ ટાઈમ વી મીટ સૂન એન્ડ બાય ધેટ ટાઈમ યુ ટેક કેર એન્ડ બી સેફ થેન્ક યુ બાય હેવ